What's up, you beautiful people? How we doing? You all right? I hope you're doing well. Been actually a few weeks since uh, I've done a, done a video and stuff. And uh, yeah, been doing well, doing well. As I say, I can't forget to uh, have a bit of H2O. Actually, for some reason, um, I said I needed some uh, water earlier. So uh, I said, yeah, I want a bit of CO2. No, so that's a totally different thing. I was like, why do you want to have a, try drinking CO2 for? So I was like, nah, I love H2O. It tastes better. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do like a water. Or try to drink uh, a minimum of about two litres a day. So I'll tell you, I think I'm probably close to probably about anywhere between two, two, two and a half litres a day, to be honest. And when it comes through like hotter weather, I tend to have around about... <laughs> Like three, three to four liters of water a day. You know, use a lot of uh, water, H two O water. Can do sweat and stuff like that. Then in the summertime, they tend to probably and uh, add some lemon, as well, and a bit of salt. Because you obviously lose salt in your body and stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, it's probably been raining a lot. So just started looking for some new um, like plants and stuff. I mean, there's a lot of things that I was actually growing before. I think they're all uh, kind of brown bread now, out of dead. So I would say, I only go for a certain amount of time. But I want to see if I could get some, uh, like, lamenders and stuff like that, where things will last a uh, lot longer. You know what I mean? So cherry trees there, so hopefully, that will just keep keep that there. Hopefully we'll start probably growing again next year. It's like that, the figs are there growing slowly slowly as well so uh which is good and uh we had some tomatoes or tomatoes obviously out of season now but did get quite a few tomatoes tomatoes if you like to say in america potato potato and uh but yeah it's been pretty well doing the garden that eh? you know, probably at some point when the weather's decent enough i'm gonna put some uh like grass seeds in the floor and all that, like some fertilizer and stuff like that. See if I can uh, just help the um, uh, grass and stuff as well. And it's a bit, bit hard to actually do the like grass, especially in the summertime. No matter how much you uh, like water and stuff like that, it's a bit hard to I maintain unless you get a black like, professional gardener to come in to uh, show you that. So, but that no, was a good project, and I mean, it's uh, been good. It's the best it's probably looked in the uh, that kind of many years and stuff like that the garden in it so which is which is always good so but yeah so now i've been back at work for, uh, since uh basically like the last week of july first week of august kind of thing so obviously which is good and obviously it's uh quiet <laughs> i mean there was something just um like nationwide where it's like you work from home you can work from home because the numbers going up again obviously not the kind of thing that you want to deal with but what do you say and uh ooh, what's this there we go all right so it's things that you don't want to go and uh, deal with but just have to see what happens obviously when you've got um still college university students coming back in uh the next like, couple of weeks but schools are back back to run you know and that sort of stuff as well so which is always good uh, should we go back to some sort of normality do you know what i mean so we'll just see how it goes and uh, we just have to keep it going. Did have some of that bad news a couple of days ago. There was a guy who's uh, used to used to move on for years and years, ended up passing away over the last couple of days, which is obviously uh, sad. Literally, he was only about a few, about three or four years old, I mean, about 39, passed away, which is not a good, uh, good thing, especially such at a young age. And uh, so just God bless his family and uh, himself. You know, we can hopefully like, rest in peace. Not hopefully, but you know, hope he rests in peace and helps helps his family out from the with the man upstairs. Yeah, so, uh, but you know, it's been uh, makes you like think quite a lot on you know just how um, short life is, you know, and thinking wait hold on this guy was only thirty nine and he ended up dying and there's especially there's so many like people out there that they end up going dying and then you end up like 
questioning God and thinking, wait, hold on, why are you doing this to people, questioning yourself? But you know what? Take take the positives out of, the, um, out of it as well. You know what I mean? Because obviously, we're all going to have to go someday. I think that's probably the only guarantee in life is our death. You know what I mean? So how do you um, deal with uh, death? Whatever one deals with it different. Some people could just start getting on things that probably won't hit them two years later. Some probably end up uh, dealing with it sooner. You know what I mean? So I remember also when both my grandparents passed away. I mean, they meant a lot. They meant the world to me. And I think I was in overdrive for probably like months and months. I was only I think I was probably just doing something. And I think, you know what? I think he got perfect uh, and all that. I think I'm trying to go from job to job, trying to find jobs and like that. And we got told you never make it this and that and feeling down type stuff. So I wish my grandpa was here to kind of help me, but they seem still find a way to kind of find me. Having that kind of breakdown, I think, you know what, they're not even here. They're supposed to be here to help me. They said they were going to get me married and all this stuff, so I'm going to have great grandkids. So it took a long time for me to kind of get used to not having them here. And I think even now, I'm still trying to get used to them not being out here physically. And it's always a hard thing to, to deal with. Not like knowing that any time I need some advice or I want something or need something doing it, that they can't, they're not there to, I can just go into the house, say, Grandma, Granddad, need help, you know. It's always hard. I'm blessed in the sense that I've got mum and dad there, they still help as much as um, they can in that. And uh, which is good, you know. So, I mean, I was really close to them. And, and you know, it's, it's it's always the kind of thing, how do you, how do you grieve? You know, how do you, how do you kind of go out there and think, what do I do to grieve? And obviously it's like probably things like, you know, get on with things they used to like, you know? Like my granddad, he, he, he had the hands of a lot of woodwork. He just loved doing gardening as well. So he'd be doing gardening, I used to help him growing up. And so, help my grandma, by the bless her heart, she's like, I've doing a lot, a lot of the building work and stuff like that, just cooking and that, and, uh, which is always good, I mean, help, help him do that type of stuff. And, uh, but yeah, it's just like kind of thing like for me, I'm like, you know what, live for that person. As much as we want them people here, right, there's nothing going to bring them back. All you can do is get out with the... Um, your life the best you can and be blessed that you'll be able to live it the best you can you know and obviously so I have like friends come out we say look man I just died that I'm like listen oh I'm sorry they're gone right but it's hard it's hard to know that obviously that person is never going to be here again all right but just think about this way they're always going to be in your heart think about all the good memories don't let someone's death make you forget about all the good times that you all had with each other that you're fortunate to spend that time with those um with those people you know and uh one day we'll meet those loved ones again don't know when could be tomorrow could be next week could be next month could be years from now you know and i always said you know what i hope one day i could actually reach 100 if I could reach 100, huh? Bloody hell, man, I'll be a happy man. But I'll be 100 years old, sitting in the park. Go on, love. Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> Should be still probably, I'll probably be trying up the young girls coming out there when, when I'm about 100 years old, you know what I mean? We're having like the kids and grandkids coming out. Come here, granddad. Come on, dad. Go on, stop chatting with the girls. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's, it's always a good thing. That's what I say, it's uh, the first blessing you get is waking up in the morning. When you wake up the day after you go from work, if you do a night shift, it's when you get up in the afternoon. When you do a normal day shift, get up in the morning, it's a blessing. Because you're woken up and you're going to spend another day on this earth. And that's something to feel blessed about. 
you know and no matter what happens yeah just keep on having that faith knowing you know what things things only get better things get better but it's up to us to make them better and you know as much as i was like now that i know i miss my grandparents i always try to think you know they might be not here anymore physically but they'll always be in my heart in my memories you know think about all the good times we had and um but yeah just start writing things down you know talk to people yeah and even like for like kids like men i should say always have that problems uh talking to talk about their feelings so i said look don't hesitate to talk about how you're feeling if you're feeling rough talk about it right if anything bad to talk about it it's true what they say when a problem shared is a problem halved you know you can help each other figure out a problem but keeping your heart it's not a good thing and i mean i tried did that for years and years and it didn't didn't help no one didn't, especially for myself and that's why they say it's uh, self-love you must love yourself before you can love anything else and pray that or see things that get better you know and even if you believe in god or not we just believe in higher beings and stuff like that then just keep on going and think to yourself you know what i'm gonna make these changes do you know what i mean so i mean especially in like asian families things like diabetes high blood pressure cholesterol that's like a big thing so i'm thinking all right cool what can i do to change that and uh make sure i try my best to take care of myself more change your diet around have a treat now so i try to make sure that i eat as healthy as i can every every week i probably end up having um uh, a cheat day you know where you get some junk food or something like that even if it's probably one meal like a day or probably one day of eating rubbish eating chunk junk food you know i remember this PE teacher in my school he would train in all the time and he would do the PE lessons and stuff like that and uh, i remember seeing him he must be going back almost 10 years now he came to college where i was studying and he was telling me go don't you have to give your body a rest you know, when you're in the gym, hit it hard, but never to give your body a rest because you end up having, I think it's like a triple or quadruple um, heart bypass. And it took him like two, three years to be able to get back to to the normal like routine. But obviously he has to be a whole lot more careful now because after that, having that, that operation on his heart, you know, and it's taken him such a long time to be able to get to that point after after having the operation, you know. And he wouldn't give it, he didn't give his body enough time to relax. He would always be overdrive. Blood pressure would be always up, up, up. Came to a point where he'd end up end up having a heart attack. He goes, Chris, make sure he was healthy. I mean, in the healthiest sense that he would eat healthy twenty four seven. And I think it was a things of everything. And um, we just show a look, Chris. Whatever you do, just keep on eating healthy. Have a cheat day or something. Eat some junk food, cause especially when you got a cold, something even like from my opinion, it's like just and sometimes you need that like, bit of you know, balance things. That it's good to have a good balance and stuff, you know. And um, so, so I mean, it's good. Only saw him a couple of years after that, but he's doing good. Haven't seen him. Remember seeing uh, one of my old teachers, Mr. Agas. He was, uh, what a legend he is. Because as I say, he was, uh, was at my old school, secondary school, London. He was there for about 35, 40 years or something like that. He taught uh, like my, my old man, like my uncle and that. And he went straight down to all my cousins and brothers and stuff, and sisters and stuff, you know. So in time we say, hey, Mr. Agus, how you doing, sir? You know, and uh, which is always good. And he, he still kind of does do like a lot of work. He doesn't obviously do a lot of the things that he used to, but and he still goes strong. He goes as long as I'm able to do so. Why not continue doing what I'm doing if I enjoy what I do? He's given so much to like my bara and for the kids, trying to help the kids out too, in the sports wise. Like that is truly a legend. 
my sight on my, my eyes and stuff like that. And I think he helped probably one of the people that could help shape the person home today with the just the amount of love he showed working in the field he did and in teaching, you know. Always give back. And you think you did end up getting uh, an MBE or something like that. I think I think it was an MBE. Uh, which he well deserves it. I think he's about 72, 73 now. Hey, if you're, if you're still enjoying it and you keep going for it, I think you go for it. I think he's actually a little older than that. I think I'm mid 70s now. Probably see if I ask him next time I see him. So, but it's always a blessing knowing that I'll see if you enjoy something, do it. Oh, bloody hell, it's just bikes. Very tough school, one of the bikes. But yeah, so that's what I'm saying. But death is a, hor it's a horrible thing, but we can't keep on dwelling on. Oh shit, they should be still here. Why did it happen to him? That to this. So, you know, the sad thing is, the realism, we're going to go Sunday. Here today, gone tomorrow. They always say, don't look back. I said, look, there are times, look back, where they can learn. I think, you know what, I've come quite far in my life. You know? So, yeah, I've come far. I've done the best I can be in life. You know? And if we keep on doing the thing in, in death, We'll never have to plan in our present to make a better future for ourselves. Now, see, we want to get married, have kids. That's for me. I mean, I've got a brilliant job. I'm blessed to be able to have that. But I worked hard, you know. And it was times I was going through two, three jobs at a time. And I think it kind of affected me knowing that I didn't have my grandparents here, which kind of hurt me a lot. Knowing that I didn't have that kind of um, support from them, obviously I'm blessed in the sense I still had the kind of support from my, my, my other part of my family, mom and dad, you know. And but it's always going to be kind of tough knowing that obviously two people like I grew up kind of idolizing in my grandparents, they're not here anymore. And it's always things. So you know what? Live your life for the loved ones. Live your life for those people that um, that obviously died, that put all that into you to be a soldier, to be as strong as you can be. Be that lion, the king lion of the jungle, you know? So keep going. Just learn from all the lessons that all these loved ones taught you. And keep going. Mongol passed away. I think it's just been over two years now, he was going to be 50 as well. And he was just telling us, oh, can we get, come into the family house and do a big party for my 50th and get some smosses, get some pagoras, and stuff like that. I have a bright the family, around, but it just wasn't meant to be, and it did affect me because it was times it was a bit of a, a, a 24 karat plonker, but as I say, it was ours. But it just, it just shows that life is. Life is too short if you don't do the things that you want to do in your life and as I say there'll be times when I see you like you look back 10, 30, 40, 50 years from now no matter how long it is that you're going to think wait you know what I should have done this and that there is no tomorrow there's a past there's a present but tomorrow may never come you'd be probably be brown bread by the end, end, end today you know what I mean you're probably not watching this video once you watched it, probably end up being brown bread. We don't want that, you know what I mean? So look at the good things that you got in your life. Look at the stuff, I mean, all the times when I was thinking to myself that I was ugly, I was stupid, all for good and stuff like that. And you get all that kind of like put down types of like people trying to push around stuff. But obviously, you know what? You know what, so do you not? But it does kind of dump in your kind of thing when people trying to push you around. I was just say, look, I, I'm not a bad looking guy, I'm actually quite a good looking guy. And it, it's funny that obviously never used to be kind of like the person who liked to study a lot, I was more of a physical type. And yeah, I didn't go to university, but I got my doctor of thugonomics, as I say, John Cena. And uh, as I said, I got my doctor's degree just learning on the streets and just going out, crafting, working, and stuff like that, get that life lesson. You know, they always say that when you're, when you're at university, you're doing your uni stuff, you're doing your studying, 
it's funny when you get out of the study, when you start looking for work, when that's when the real life type, type of thing starts and stuff. So, as I say, just keep on going, you know? And the thing is, death, it'll come. And the Grim Reapers come to your door knocking, saying, let's go. Get your coat, your, you, you, you go in, all right? Then it's time, and you, you, you probably end up going through ups, a lot of ups, a lot of downs. But when death takes you, it's gonna take you. But just keep on, keep the faith, all right? Don't think you're alone, because you'll never, ever be alone. You'll always be someone there that's gonna be there for you. And it doesn't have to be um, your family, your friends, it could be just a stranger, you know? And you know, I always like think when I go out, I smile. I probably, I, I'm not probably at all. If I see someone, I say hello. It's not enough for that, you know. Not enough like people saying hello, how are you? You know, just a nice little smile. And and how are you? You know, it's, it goes a long way. It's a smile. And obviously, the time when I was here, where I forgot to run friends with us, we started like chat to a friend. Sometimes words. Don't have to be spoken, but just being there, the person know that you're there. But listen, don't you know, feel just because deaths come, you've lost some that you really care, it doesn't mean that your life is over as well. Your life's still going. Their life might not be physically here anymore, but they'll always be here. Then you have to live for them. I live for my grandparents all the time. I, I live for all my loved ones all the time, you know? So as I say, keep the smiling. You know, and keep on going because the last thing you want is something uh, happening and you're not doing the things that you wanted to do in your life. If you wanted to go bungee jumping, you want to go traveling, you want to do something, then do it. If it's in your means, then like do it. If it's in your means now, work up to it, but don't just leave it alone thinking, oh shit, like, you know, this, that. You don't want to have any regrets. And obviously, we've all had good times, bad times done things that we shouldn't have done. People ask me all the time, goes, Chris, don't you regret like, like the bad things that you've done? I said, no, I said, I don't regret them. I learned from them and it became lessons. All the mistakes that I've done, all the stupid things that I've done, I've learned from them, you know? I've, I've had fights in clubs, I've stopped, work, like working clubs and bars, I come home black eye, come a bit of blood and whatnot, but, <laughs> do things that I shouldn't have done but don't regret because they become lessons you know and I think you know when you get the knocks in the, you, the sense knocked into you as I say you think oh shit you know what I need to change things it's always you always have to change you always have to evolve and the evolution put the line in the sand so it's up to you to cross it so I hope obviously you can actually learn from obviously this and how life doesn't end when you have a loved one pass away it still continues for you continue living on their behalf of their soul their heart and their mind if they had a vision do something for them you know like if they want someone wanted to like go to go do all the coliseums and down in Italy or something like that. Go and do it. We want to do a world, like, like a Caribbean cruise or a world cruise or something. Then go and do it on their behalf and say, look, this is for you. You know? So I said, but don't stop living your life just because someone else has um, lost their life. Because life is too short not to live it as good as you can. As I said, there's 7.3 billion plus people in the world. Right? And there's probably, what, 100,000, 200,000 less people now because obviously this corona all right but you know what just see how many deaths we've had this year due to like corona and stuff and other illnesses cancer stuff like that just live your life don't let death rear its ugly head and say i'm taking you don't go out without a fight right as i say learn that in our life you will we'll, we'll learn when our time is up you just feel it should be your time, but don't not want to go out and live it. Do you know what I mean? So keep it living, all right? Don't let death 
take you without a fight. All right, I hope obviously you all uh, have a good time and stuff. And I uh, wish you uh, one love. Peace out, you lovely, beautiful people.